Your book was published here in Denmark now. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, in English it's called Hidden Depths and it's about um it's it's a child is found murdered in a bath and we don't really know why and there are flowers scattered on the water in the bath and then there's uh, another body in water again so the whole idea is that there's lots of water and it's a, a beautiful setting and Vera needs to know why why is that why has this happened and and I suppose the reader finds out at about the same time as as Vera does so classic detective story yeah can you tell us a little about your writing process I don't plot in advance so I start off very early in the morning I wake up very early my writing day starts at maybe 6 a.m and I sit at my kitchen table with my laptop I drink lots of tea because I'm British and I like tea and um I suppose I write like a reader so I'll write the first chapter and I need to know what's going to happen next so I write the next chapter and then I get a kind of idea about where I'm going and that's how it goes quite organically I think and partly because for my first 20 years of being published I didn't have a lot of commercial success so it had to be fun I had to enjoy it And there would be no enjoyment, I think, if I knew how it was going to end. So that's how I do it. Is it hard to keep on writing about the same person? No, I think if I that was all if that was all I wrote about, then I think I might find it hard. But I love coming back to Vera. Yeah. So I've wrote a, I've written a series set in Shetland, and I I loved writing those. And now I have a new series also translated into Danish about Matthew Venn and he's set in North Devon which is seaside and quite touristy but I lived there so I know more than the tourists do so um I know Matthew is is a gay man very happily married to his husband Jonathan and I love writing those books but then at the end I he heave a sigh of relief and think ha huh, now I can go home to Vera yeah. yeah now we're talking about Vera How did she appear? She appeared quite by chance. One of those miraculous things that happens sometimes with with books. And she, I was writing a a standalone novel. My editor had wanted me to write something completely different, no detective. And about a third of the way through, because I don't plot, I got very stuck. And it was the thriller writer Raymond Chandler who said, "If you're stuck with a book." have a guy burst through a door with a gun. Only I don't write about guns because I'm English. We don't really do a lot with guns. So, um, but I I was writing a funeral scene and I had a somebody burst in through the door and without any sort of thought about who it might be. And in came Vera Stanup with, um, and I had her name. I describe her as looking more like a bad lady than a detective. And and there she was. I knew her straight away. I knew who she was and understood her. And I carried on writing about her. And I know her very well now. I'm very fond of her. The next book was going to be published in Danish. Yes, in English it's called Silent Voices. And it starts with Vera having been told to lose a bit of weight. So she decides she'll start swimming. And in this quite smart country hotel there is a, a, a health club so she can swim because she doesn't want any of her colleagues to know that she's that she's trying to get fit and she goes to a to the sauna the steam room and it you sometimes you don't see anything because there's so much steam and she sees a shadowy figure who's there sat in the corner and that's a body and it goes on from there and it's the body of a social worker Oh, sounds exciting. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming and chatting to me.